Okay, back to Sonic Frontiers with Sith Warrior in blue again. This time we got TK, who's got a lot to say. It's been 10 years since we've done a Let's Play together. Uh, I, Hello I did, once again. Yeah, I did look up, too. The last thing we did in terms of Let's Plays was Sonic Adventure 2, and we never finished that. Which is a mm. crime against nature. That is literally the best... Oh shoot, I'm about to be assassinated by the Sonic community. I better shut my mouth. It's still the best one. <laughs> I did off screen uh, complete Bigs Fishing here and spent. Actually, you should do those. Let's do the Eggman memos. Because <laughs> I bought. I'm pretty sure I bought them all. Hey, son. Oh, yes. Like Bigs Fishing. Yeah, he sold out of the memos. Oh, I got coins left too. Nice. Uh, this. Oops, like to to try? I went back to can... Sonic Adventure, and I love um, fishing in uh, Sonic Adventure now with Big Fishing. Some force is keeping me from exiting I heard that you can uh, pretty much 100% the whole game the just from Big. So, yes. That's, the exact opposite of that's what amazing. Supposed to do. I didn't know that. Uh, that's pretty cool. But do you feel as though that if you can 100% the whole game from just doing this section, it ruins the fun out of it? No, because the cyberspace levels are not that fun. I need to learn more. I was just going to say that. <laughs> if they were fun, that'd be one thing. It's actually called cyberspace anyway. The terrain here keeps shifting. Because they're trapped in cyberspace, apparently. Finding recreations of regions from South Island. Or Tails Eggman. I think they could actually have like a better name for it, I guess. Where is this environmental data coming from? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, so I have a question, and they don't make this, well, maybe they do make it clear, and I'm an idiot, but I don't think they make it clear enough. The world we're running around in is the real world, right? And cyberspace is just cyberspace. Probably just save this later. Yeah, uh, that is correct. But, but somehow, Amy, Tails, Knuckles, they're in the real world as digital ghosts. Yeah, you know, actually, that's a good question because uh, I'm not sure they really explained that well as to why that is. It could be parallel dimensions, so the two dimensions intertwine with each other, but one's in one subspace of reality and the other one's in another space of reality. Where is it? There we go. Let's play mm. Sonic Adventure 2. When, ten years ago. Holy shit. I told you it was ten years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Why did we even stop? Yeah. Well, forum, the forums died. Sonic died with that whole... Uh, uh, what's it called? What's that? Sonic Boom? That series took off? And that oh, made us kind of slow down. Would you like to try? For me, it was Lost World. <laughs> I was just about to say, them doing that three-game deal with Nintendo, that kind yeah. of killed everything, too, because no one had a Wii U. Would you like no one try? cared about the Wii U. Half the people didn't even know what the Wii U was. Um, yeah. I don't so think I, I, I would say ghosting. And plus, you know, we all had so much going on in our lives with work and school and whatnot, so it makes yeah. sense that, that we just stopped. There was oh, some, definitely some cool projects that I remember that we was going to do, so um, we was going to do those in real life projects. So I remember we had the SR project that you did, TK, whereby you met up with other people from Sonic Revolution and then you guys was doing those sketches. And then also I think we was going to be doing like a podcast as well on top of it as well. Yes, um, we, we all, like us on this side of the pond, uh, we all pretty much got okay. out of Sonic at the same time. So me, Mike, Tina, we just were like done with it. And um, I always watched on the sideline. And then like Facebook took over. So everything that we were doing for the website, YouTube, was done on Facebook basically. Um, so it, I don't know. It was just it just became, the internet wow, became a bad. different place. <laughs> Playing Sonic Adventure 2 for that quick second really messing with me. You know, honestly, correct me if I'm wrong, but did YouTube even even monetize back then? I don't even think they really like encouraged us to grow our channel. 
you know? Yeah, you can monetize back then, but it was mainly due to MCMs at that time. So if you yeah. was partnered with, say, like Machinima or someone else, then that's whereby you would actually get a good amount of money um, from those ad revenues back then. But yeah, now it's more encouraged to um, be monetized by YouTube, so you don't actually need to be spaced up with an MCM to actually make money. Now you can just make money just um, <laughs> by yourself. Yeah, and not that it's all about money. It's just that Sonic wasn't nearly enough motivation for for me personally to continue. Jim has been doing it all these years. It's great. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did have to switch it to Sega to more possibilities. Yeah, and see, that's what excites me more. Like, I'm on board to do Sega stuff because, as you know, I'm a huge Sega diehard fanboy to this day. Plus, an excuse to do Persona. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would we, love to yeah. show off my Sega collection and give some tips and tricks out there that maybe some people don't know about playing an old school Sega Genesis on a modern HD TV. There, there's ways to do it where the the Genesis. Actually, all Sega consoles, the way they d d design them, are very future-proof. And I would argue that there's some instances where the Sega Saturn looks more clear than today's consoles. <laughs> because of the way that it's upscaled and the RGB, the way that Sega set it up, it's like, it's flawless. Every time I look at it, I'm just amazed compared to um, looking at it on an old school CRT or things like that, but that that's another topic. Um, maybe maybe one day we can get into that on the channel if Jim wants to. Oops. Just speed. Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. I, I totally see um, more and more like why Sega was definitely ahead of their game. And I know like when you, we spoke about it like earlier last year, like how um, Sonic Heroes on PS2 was just like, oof. <laughs> just terrible. Yeah, and see, that's the thing too. I, I still, to this day, I don't understand the hype of the PS2 back mm. then. Like, people today will look back and say, oh, it was the game library. But yeah, but in the year 2000, we didn't know it was going to turn into a console that has over two, three thousand games, or however many there are. So why was it hyped up? Because of the DVD player. And I remember going to school, yeah. people telling me, oh my gosh, the graphics are going to be so amazing because it can play DVDs. And I'm just like, cool nah. story, bro. I got my Dreamcast up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But... <laughs> To touch on what you were saying, yeah, the Xbox... Actually, I think the GameCube version is the best version of Heroes, if I'm not mistaken. It's the only version I agree. Yeah, definitely agree. Yeah. Um, the Xbox was only worse because it was ported, and then the PS2 version was just downright okay. terrible. It was three games in a row where the PlayStation version was bad, wasn't it? Is Hero Shadow and 06? Hero Shadow and Unleashed. And, uh, and yeah, 06 also. Um, 06 was on PS3, not PS2. Yeah. Three PlayStation Unleashed platforms in a row. Unleashed on PS2, I don't even understand why it was ever released on PS2. Um, <laughs> but the fact that there's no... There's no whale in Holoska <laughs> Oh, well. oh, actually, I do have a topic, though. Um, so, back at that time, um, Yuji Naka was in charge of the Sega projects for the Sonic games, and then he got released, but then recently, there was news a couple of weeks ago that apparently he was actually fired because of discussing salaries. Now, from what you guys um, know about this now for um, Yuji Naka, now, if Yuji Naka is still in charge of the Sonic games, do you feel as though the approach and feel of the Sonic games would be different from the games we have now. Mm -hmm. Well... <sighs> I'm gonna say, I think that if Yuji Naka would've stayed on, I think that... Okay, first of all, I'm gonna jump into conspiracy theory territory. 
when he got, I don't know if you know this, but they say that the reason why Sonic 06 turned out the way it did is because they lost a lot of data in the middle of the development and had to kind of start from an earlier point. I am maybe 75, I'm on the fence, but I think Yuji Naka could have deleted that data on purpose because he got fired or because negotiations weren't working out or something like that. I maybe mean, he held the data. In hindsight, it makes sense, considering how he reacted over Sonic, was it Extreme? Yeah, you know, and, and Bal in Wonderworld, you, you see how he reacts. So, what you're saying, that it's, after all these years, it's finally released that he was fired. I always thought he quit to start his own thing, but like you said, if he was fired because ne ne negotiations went south, I think he could have deleted the data. <laughs> And I, I honestly do believe whatever was on that wow. hard drive would have possibly been the best Sonic game he's ever seen. The day night system was on the hard drive. I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, we got sad, it now. Man. Nearly two, how many years later we got it now, but the day and night cycle system. I heard that there was supposed to be a child garden. Oh, um, man. Supersonic in all stages with the rainbow gem. Um, you know, I, I do truly believe that 06 could have been one of the best games ever, but can't cry over the <sighs> note. We got what we got, so. Yeah, true, true. But to answer your question, yes, I do think if if Yuji would have stayed or if things didn't happen the way they did, I think we would have got a much, much better game. Yeah. Totally. Um... I also think like we could have probably seen multiplayer aspects of you know. Who, who am I fighting? The, what the fuck? What was it? Ask, no, how can I how can I put it? Like it would have been more multiplayer <laughs> Sonic games, pretty much. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, like look at 06. I mean, it was clearly trying to do what Adventure 2 did with their multiplayer. I think. Yeah, no, it's up there. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. had to, had to that, I guess. I think yeah. that um, 06 has some of the best multiplayer out there because, um, hear me out on this, even with all the glitches and everything, it's one to one. Like, you go straight, you know, it, it's like Sonic Adventure 2, where you get the full stage and you get everyone's abilities they didn't ner like most games kind of nerf things for the set for the two-player mode and they didn't do that um with and they, they didn't even nerf silver you can literally hold the other player in a psychic hold until you reach the end of the level and <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> it's cheating but it, it's yeah. amazing because they didn't even say well let's Let's nerf that. No, they gave you full access to what Silver can do and, and everything. Hmm, true, true. Uh, <clears throat> as opposed to like Adventure 2 where, yeah, they took out the bounce bracelet oh, and all those okay. abilities whatnot. Right. I'm okay <laughs> with um, Sega's decision when they did nerf, you know, abilities on Sonic Adventure 2 because they added different perspective going into it whereby it was all about kind of ring collecting and you know special abilities and attacks and stuff but by sonic 06 um it is fun to i have to admit it's fun to control silver by um using the psych abilities on the other characters however i think it's just that there was nothing expanded on it it was just like playing for the normal levels and that was it yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it was the best. I meant to say it could have been. Because, like, if they would have finished it, mm. and where you can choose all the other characters too, and, and it, I think it could have rivaled SA2 because we would have had more characters to choose from, oh, bigger, yeah. more, more expansive stages, of course, better graphics, and what could have possibly been better physics, provided they weren't deleted on whatever hard drive <laughs> was, uh, was lost. I'm going to yeah. say deleted. I'm not going to say lost anymore. I, I truly do believe that Mr. Naka-san erased uh, his hard work in protest to whatever Sega was uh, doing. Oh no, this one.
If this is what I think it is. I hate this one. Oh, the cyberspace. Yeah. Ah, what the fuck? Oh, there's spikes up there. Oh, hey. There's some <laughs> tears. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I mean, yeah, it looks like Frontiers, but the controls are way different. Like, <laughs> there is a certain stiffness to it, for sure. I mean, every time Ooh. I see the cyberspace level, I just think of Sonic Generations from oh, all of these yeah. assets. Which, by the way, have any of you guys ever decided to replay Sonic Generations? Nope. I stopped. The more I played it, the more I didn't like it. I'll play... Uh, this is, I'll tell you exactly what I do, because I'm a creature of habit. If I turn on Shit. Sonic Generation, I, I subconsciously just go to the trophy room. Listen to music. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm playing this, aren't I? And then I go over to uh, this stage, which is um, Sky Sanctuary. And um, I'll play the first act, is it? Of, um, or no, I'm sorry, act two of... Uh, What's the point of that? Planet Ooh. Risk. Oh, and then yeah, the, yeah. the second it gets to that construction area and the camera changes to 2D, 2D I just turn it off because I'm frustrated at that point. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, um, <clears throat> I, I can see why. Um, honestly, I tried to this revisit fucking... it last year, but this I don't know, it's just a big click. Okay. Here comes the death. It's pretty much for... This is that clip I showed you earlier when I was playing this. This is that moment. I hate this stage. So, it's false let, down. Yeah. Let me ask you this. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys play uh, Frontier. Well, okay, when I'm playing it, right? Mm -hmm. Especially the cyber stages, there's... And I noticed this just happened to you. When, like, right from this part. Do you ever hit the boost button and you think you're pressing it and your your finger's on it and you're holding it but he's not boosting? Yeah, there's no real sense of boost. Yeah, I think, I think it's because they took away the air boost and replaced it with I don't I don't, I don't is there even an air boost anymore? Yeah, there is. Like, yeah. They don't just, they don't what? like I, I I would say they don't transfer into each other well. Like, okay, so Unleashed, Colors, uh, Generations, you just press the button. It doesn't really matter what state Sonic is in, he's going to boost forward. As much as I hate that, it's something that I'm used to. And then now it's like, okay, if you're holding boost, but he steps down off of a step or hits an object, he stops boosting um, completely. And you have to press the button again. It's the lack of momentum. It's like you boost, and then he doesn't keep that speed yeah, you hold it. that's epic that you said that and you just did it in your playthrough <laughs> <laughs> um very pretty game though. Okay. so since we're talking about frontiers let, let's get into let's rip the bandit off guys what are your thoughts actually uh well um i want to hear your thoughts first actually <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah <laughs> Right. I haven't. I am. Um, okay. Well, here's mm -hmm. my thing. Um, I, I I didn't plan on buying the game. Um, mm -hmm. It was gifted to me by uh, a Sonic buddy, uh, Jesus, mm -hmm. and he forced me to play it. So I played it, and the first thing I thought was, okay, finally I can, I can make Sonic walk around in the circle. I haven't been able to do that for over ten years. Holy crap. You know, he can walk backwards. I got control back over Sonic. This is nice. This is this is good. Ooh, what and the then um, outside of that, it, it's like there, there's not much that impressed me. Um, but I'll tell you what did impress me. Um, I like God the, damn it. the camera for once. Like every Sonic game, even since SA1 has had really bad camera. This one actually tends to do what I expect it to do, which is which is pretty rare. And then for the small parts where it doesn't, you just kind of tap it. I mean, that could be said for Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 also. That's why I never really complained about those cameras, because you mm -hmm. tap L and R and boom, you're good. But um, overall, I would say that 
I'll, I'll tell you guys exactly what I told you. It's like, mm -hmm. the hell I, feel like we, I feel like it's a beta testing game. I feel the lack mm -hmm. of polish, the lack of work. Um, and then I find out that Sega made this game on a skeleton crew. There, there was Sonic Team only had, I think, a handful of people working on it. I don't know how many exactly, but it's like an insanely low number for a AAA title. And when I when he told me that, I'm like, okay, that makes perfect sense. That's the lack of polish that I'm feeling. I'm feeling like they wanted to do more but couldn't. The final boss was like, what? <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> yeah. The the concept of the game is in, it's too yeah. convenient. I just feel like they were reusing assets and they found a way to weave the story around that. Oh, Sonic's mm -hmm. fragmented memory is the reason why we're playing through two D stages from the past again. You know. Um, Granted, I'll, I'll give them this, there's some stages where I was just like, oh my gosh, this is, uh, cool. this is actually, this is actually, this is actually, this is hideous. Oh, that worked, holy shit. <laughs> Wait, are you playing live? Or... Yeah. Yeah, he's playing live. Oh, I thought this was pre-recorded, oh my god. Anyway, I'm an idiot. Yeah, we used to do um, pre We used to. Yeah. Technology yeah. has advanced in 10 years, TK. Yeah, I guess so. Um, well, in that case, I can make special requests. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, perfect. The Cocos, holy crap. Okay. I know yeah. that they play a really important role in the story, right? Why couldn't yeah. they have... Why couldn't they have been, like, mutated Chow? Why couldn't they have been, like, uh, Chow, uh, but different, right? Cause, that okay. would have made sense. No spoilers, right? We don't want to spoil it for people, but... The... The... the Chaos people that we see in the cutscenes are genetically altered versions of Chaos, or genetically different, according to Eggman. So why wouldn't their essence be Chao? That would have explained where Chao come from. Yeah. Why they why they resemble Chaos? Um... And it would that would have that would have knocked out a twenty year old origin story. That would have satisfied my inner child. Satisfied newcomers it would have been like oh this is where chow originated from they're the essence of dead chaos people you know which is pretty fucked up but <laughs> extremely cool at the same time it's like huh. well that's why they exist they're 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 the essence of a uh, civilization that's long gone the coco thing i just think is too random and too convenient mm. and uh it, it doesn't fit the lore, but um, there's people out there that I know they just love everything that has a Sonic logo on it, and they accept everything that goes on within the Sonic universe, but um, I'm not one of those people. I think things should make sense. I don't like the fact that they just made Sonic, if you leave Sonic alone for five minutes, he starts talking about stuff from previous games and comics and... TV shows and they just they're just like oh it's all together now and I'm like no it's always been separate everybody knows that um, mm. the comics have been separate from the games the games have been separate from the TV shows like come on here let's, let's not like Amy's talking about sticks let, let please let's not do that come on it's, I would be <laughs> fine with them connecting stuff it's just they're trying to connect everything Exactly. I don't mind them connecting stuff either. Just keep it within the game realm, you know? So now Wait. they're hiring a lore expert. Team Sonic Racing is acknowledged. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. Are, are you talking about Sonic Frontiers that all this stuff is being mentioned? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me if that makes any sticks. I no. <laughs> I wonder what sticks is up to. That's what Amy says. Is it really? Is yeah. sticks supposed to be. A character in the Sonic Boom dimension, not supposed to be exactly. in the Sonic universe. No. Exactly. No, they, they literally just said, "All right." Instead, I I would have rather them do a soft reboot or a hard reboot, Boom. even, or even let's let the movie universe take over. Heck, I don't give a crap. I don't mind okay. humans, but no, they're just like everything is canon and everything's great. Love it. And people are really eating it up. They're like, "Oh my god, they remember 
childhood. Yeah, they remembered everyone's childhood. All of them. Everyone's <laughs> person. Period. Now, now that uh, I think about it now, I'm, I'm not going to be surprised now if they mention Sonic <laughs> Underground now. That Sonic had siblings. Oh, mm. yeah. I'm, I, I don't think that they did, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did at this point. Yeah. And in, um, in an Adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog, it's no longer seven Chaos Emeralds, it's actually four Chaos Emeralds. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, get this. No, there's eight Chaos Emeralds, because there was Cannon and Sonic the Fighters. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going on a rant to one of my buddies about uh, Roger Craig uh, Smith. Sith Warrior's favorite enemy. I, I think Roger Craig Smith is the worst Sonic voice we've had. And it's, it has nothing to do with his voice. It has to do with Sonic's personality, right? right. Well, mm. get this. I, he's like, oh, Sonic's supposed to sound older now. And I'm like, why? Sonic's 15 years old. He's like, no, that that's no longer part of the canon. Sonic grew up. That's what... That's why he had a birthday in Sonic Generation. They're like, Sonic's an adult, basically. And apparently this is true. I haven't, I haven't done the research, but the guy who presented it to me said that, no, that, that changed. Sega changed that. And I believe him because Sega's just that disconnected from their own franchise. So if Sonic's supposed to be an adult now, um, I don't really, I don't know how to feel about that. Like to me, he was always 15. It's like the Simpsons. You just don't age him. He's 15 years old. Knuckles is 16. Amy is what, 12, I think. Tails is eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big is 18. Rouge is 17. Naughty people out there, she's 17. <laughs> I don't give a crap what this new lore is. You know, uh, it, it doesn't make sense to just age Sonic, give him this adult sounding voice. Um. Like, I'd, I'd take the movie Sonic voice, I'd take, uh, Sonic, what's that new one called? Sonic, uh... Prime? Prime, Prime I'd take that voice, I'd absolutely take Drummond back. At this point, I'd even take my most hated voice actor back, and uh, I'd take back Jason Griffith over Roger. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with Roger. Roger could be, like, a new rival that's older than Sonic. He could be... I don't know, some, he could be some random echidna that's Knuckles discovered and he's not the last of his clan anymore and that's Roger's voice. You know, something like that. I, I don't know. They're going to get doesn't... sued by Ken Penders if they do that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't even get <laughs> Dude, you know, I'm one of the admins for the, the Facebook group. Uh, it used to be called Sonic Adventure 2 Hell. Oh, here's Skyrail. Spent forever finding it last part. Oh my god. He tried to join that group on Facebook so many times that we denied him. Are you serious? Damn. Yeah, yeah, we denied Ken Penders, but we were just like, nah, we're not out of this. <laughs> and he tweeted about it. He's like, I don't know why they keep inviting me to the group and denying me. I'm like, dude, no one's inviting me. Not a single person. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, Mike, Mike Pollock was in there, too. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, we had Mike Pollock in there. See, this, uh, this, this stage right here that you're playing, it makes me appreciate the cyberspace stage because it's like, oh my god, they're, they're literally tugging on my nostalgia stream. But I didn't ask for that from this game. That's what Generations are for. You know what I mean? You're nostalgia, but you're still painting Green Hill. <laughs> I know, I know, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so sick and tired of Green Hill. Oh, <laughs> I can't, like... I, I know, like, they have the exact same level design, but it's just looking at the checkerboard and all this stuff and stuff. I just can't take it seriously. I know, it, it makes no sense. But part of me, <laughs> a small part of me actually appreciates it. Because it's like, mm. oh, my muscle memory for the past oh, 20 years shit. is totally kicking in. Fuck it. You know? yeah. <laughs> uh, not yeah. like Jim's, who just died. His muscle memory was shot. You know, all the game controls like ass in the side of his face. Yeah, that's, that's definitely true. But, okay, enough dunking on the game, I will say this, this has the best music I think I've heard in ages, in any game. I, I love yeah. the music. Holy crap. Holy crap. But, um, okay, so that's my... That's my super summed up version of my feelings about the, the, the lore of the game. Um, <laughs> I do love the range, the homing attack in this game. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. Let's talk about physics, because Jim, you're smoking something. All right. Mm-hmm. The range is good, but let me show you what I hate. I'm going to wait for you to do a homing attack. The lock-on's crap. The lock-on's crap, but the recovery time is the worst I think I've ever seen. Um, I'm just going to wait. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, Sonic. Wrong way. There you go. <laughs> that definitely reminds me of SA2. Alright. Oh, there you go. So, do you see how long it takes for you to recover? It's like the whole screen kind of pauses as you hit the enemy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's... See, Give me. I, this is coming from, you know, I, I was there for the original homing attack, which was on uh, Sonic 3D Blast on the Saturn, right? Mm-hmm. It feels just as slow as that one Ver- versus SA1 where I can literally tap the A button as fast as my fingers would allow me and heat homing attack everything in the room. I've done that. SA2, yes, it was a little bit slower, but you could still, you could actually homing, you could actually do the attack faster than his lock on would allow. So if you tap it too fast in SA2, you'll go flying past the enemy to your death. Um, in this game, you tap it, and you can tap it as much as you want to, nothing happens. He's just there, hanging out with the enemy, chilling in the air. It's a new lap record! For a good, I don't, I don't know how long, but... It, it has to be a fraction of a second, and it, it, it's at least four times longer than Sonic Adventure 1, and maybe three or two times longer than Sonic Adventure 2. Thanks. It's maybe twice as long as Generations and those games. It's just too long. And no one else seems to notice it. It's like, you do the homing attack and it's like, mm. the whole game kind of stops for a minute. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jim. You're the one playing it right now. Uh, yeah, I guess. With Blue taking a quick 10 minute break, to be stop his part here. Oh. So I'm going to just quick 